Hi there, welcome to Microsoft Intune Training Series. This is going to be the Series 11 and uh, we are going to cover the complete Microsoft Intune Training as a free series. Uh, you can check out the description of the links for the complete playlist or a different lecture. And within this lecture, we are going to cover about Microsoft Intune Compliance Policy, how we can automate the of finding the devices that are non-compliant and sending an email to the end user computers as well as to help this team so that we can take an action from an end user point of view and also from a uh, end user point of view they would also try to take an action by following our email template that we uh, give it to them so that's what we are uh, gonna learn and also within this lecture we also gonna learn about the new navigation options that are available within Microsoft uh, Endpoint Manager Admin Center or within your intent portal I'm gonna show you on that so let's jump into the demo thanks for joining in this demo uh, if you're visiting for the first time request uh, kindly subscribe and do also check out other exciting Intune training series as uh, part of this series let's uh, go for the demo within Microsoft Endpoint Microsoft Admin Center you can navigate to devices and the platform and this is where you can work with the complaints policies and if you could remember we did created a complaints policy in the series number 8 and we did even talked about what exactly the compliance policies in the series number five and six and eight we did extensively talk on that I hope uh, there's uh, no need much about the explanation about the complaints policies but we are gonna um, have a look on an advanced topic within the complaints policies but just to give you an overview on a complaints policy so complaints policy will measure the settings that you define within your policy if that settings are not available on those devices it will report as in a non-compliant so the users uh, have to remediate or help this team have to remediate the uh, to in order to match your company standards or company specified complaints baseline settings so that they can access the company data and thus complaints policies also can be worked very closely with the Azure Active Directory conditional access policies so that you can stop the device not to access your corporate data to secure the uh, data so that uh, you can you know stop it and the devices must be become as a complaint for example if a device is coming as a jailbroken device and we can stop that device until that jailbroken specific configuration to be you know, reverted so that uh, you can allow them to move uh, or access the company data that's what the uh, complaints policies does there's a short description but let's uh, talk about the current configuration so when we try to create a complaints policies like this let me create a, a sample policy in fact we did have already created a complaints policy but in case if you have not watched the lecture number eight let me uh, show you here uh, let's say this is a test policy you can give your proper description all of that settings and I want to configure under security the devices must be uh, must have a password with the complaint uh, com with the complaints uh, with the minimum length and maximum length configuration I can you know configure and also I have some kind of you know baseline that my all enterprise devices must have firewall settings and also they need to enable the TPM because we are configuring the for example the big locker configuration uh, which we just you know explained in the lecture 9 or the series 9 we did uh, talk about the bit locker very extensively you could check out that in the description of this video also and uh, this kind of you know configuration compliance policy you can you know define once you define your company specific policies either in a device health or device properties for example the minimum maximum versions with the bill numbers all of that you could specify here and once you have configured this complaints policy this is where uh, this lecture is going to focus on actions for non complaint let's say a device found that it, it's not uh, configured any of these settings or some of the settings let's see the device is not configured with the firewall let's say but they are complained with the TPM but not with the firewall then how what you can do is you can stop the access the device with the help of conditional access policy 
At the same time, we could actually make this device immediately as non-compliant. That's what we are trying to do. So if you could, you know, go to uh, maybe uh, to all devices at this point of time, you would you could see that this specific device, in this case, my uh, one of the devices showing as a non-compliant because of the firewall or what of the settings are not uh, meeting my compliance policy. So it's not meeting my compliance policy. That's why it is marked as a non-compliant. But within this, uh, within this configuration where we wanted, uh, we have achieved in fact this configuration, but what else configuration you could do it. So they could be sending an email uh, saying that, hey, uh, end user, uh, this is a specific configuration we defined as your company baseline. So you must have to follow this company baseline. That's what you can define. You can enforce them. You can guide them. So to do that, you can actually send an email to the end user saying that, hey, you can you know, send an email. That's a device. Whoever logs on that device, they will be receiving an email with a template that we have configured now the question comes where i can i need to configure this message template or the email sample so in fact i've already configured but i, I wanted to show you that you now how to configure and where to configure so this is the email template that have already configured uh, with the display name as this is the policy kind of you know notification name and it's gonna have that email with my company header logo all of that information so it's more uh, accurate information they're going to receive with a good uh, standard and the message subject along with that the message also that's a body of the content so how would i can how do i configure this specific so let me show you that uh, how can i configure so let me go to another tab which i've already opened here so you need to go to endpoint security in fact my friends uh, the device compliance policies that we are we have been working here uh, on a window specific like from here so instead of you configure from here you could actually do it from an endpoint security and from here compliance policy this is where the device compliance policy you could create very simple plus create and you could choose the specific platform in fact one of the policies that we have created in the past by going from the devices and by platform and a compliance policy the same policy also will be available the same policy uh, directly from the compliance policies so this is a complaints policy and here it's already available so it's one and the same whether you create there or here but this is a new navigation Microsoft is pushing to use this navigation that's okay let's uh, try to find out where we can configure the specific notification right so this specific notification can be configured under endpoint security under complaints policies and notification so this is where you could actually create a notification and give a name for example I'm just giving here as a test policy example but you could actually give as the policy for uh, device uh, compliance policy so this is maybe you know draft one so I just wanted to give us a draft and this is going to contain uh, this policy or this notification will contain email header with the company logo or with the footer with the company name and email footer include the contact information and company portal website link also can be linked so as you know that company portal is the uh, client side application that is the interface where you're going to work with uh, Microsoft Intune portal or with your endpoint manager admin center as the end user who will receive the applications or device complaint settings all of that so it's better to you know uh, we'll give this link also for the end users that's my recommendation and just click on next so that um, when you give this link users can go ahead and they can click on that and they can validate what is that specific setting is causing the problem let's say a TPM is meeting your complaints policy requirement on that device but not the firewall rules example so it will tell that hey this firewall setting have to be you know, configured so it's gonna give you more information so let's let's actually configure the specific settings and uh, 
you could actually achieve here more languages let's say if a user is coming from english region you could actually make this as default and choose your locally as whatever the language for example in my case us and i would you know uh, try to give here as a subject and if the user is coming from spanish you could actually give here spanish and select the subject all of that so you have the flexibility here so either way if you're going to select here english uh, and uh, we could you know type here your devices your devices found as non-compliant and that's a subject line of the email and you could you know type uh, what is that you can you know do it for example either your device is found as a non-compliant follow the below steps to make your device to be you no know, compliant otherwise uh, you're gonna make your device to access or enable a limited access for the device that's what you can mention and you could uh, give your the information how to enable defender or maybe tpm uh, specific setting or what are the settings that you have configured as part of your company uh, policies thus can be you know, configured and make sure that you selected this as a default at least the one otherwise it's not uh, allow you to you know configure further that's it uh, once you have done that you know create and that's it uh, this is gonna create a notification template in a minute and in fact now we have uh, two notification templates are available you see here one is a draft other one is an action required one so let me go back to the previous window which we are talking about the policy creation if you could you know recall uh, we were trying to configure by platform compliance policies and from here or maybe you could actually go here directly from a security and then and the compliance policies uh, this is where the policy we are gonna choose a policy and with this policy you could actually edit saying that actions for non-compliant devices saying that hey uh, send an email and since the device is not compliant I wanted to select a template so I have a two templates or available one would be the draft template other one is the action required so the draft one we would like to you know, test it maybe you could you know um, assign this policy for the users and also in case if you're uh, not just to send the email to the end user you would like to include even for your help desk team you could actually select additional recipients and choose your help desk group email id whatever the group email id you have and so that you, they are gonna also receive an email along with the end user that's it you can review the policy and save it this is how you can do it if it's new policy uh, how you would be doing is like you know we did uh, we did you know work a little bit in the previously if you're trying to create a new policy also the steps are very simple here you would be you know creating a new policy compliance policy with uh, desired settings let's say the password or maybe require or maybe whatever the antivirus or firewall kind of you know settings which are defines your company standards these are the baselines that you need to identify and you need to you know configure once you configure these settings uh, this is where actions for non compliance will come for example send an email to with draft configuration which we have just created that's it um, that's how it's gonna send and also additional recipients you could do it so that's it this is going to create a policy and you could assign this complaints policy to the required users in my case I'm just going to assign for all Indian users and create that's it that's how you're going to uh, create a complaints policy uh, and also configure your notification email settings I hope this short lecture is useful for you let's also have a end user experience and uh, let's see if there is a device called um, we could see here is a device which is ending 616 which is non-compliant and the user was uh, if you quickly remember this is Chris who who's using this account so I just logged in with the Chris account and I received an email saying that hey uh, Chris uh, your device is non-compliant and please follow so and so instructions that we have given as a part of our template so that information uh, it's you know given and very clearly showing that you know this is the access for the company portal and a privacy statement company logo and the text how to uh, how to turn on turn off your firewall all of that message which is very clearly showing so you just have to work on the uh, you know template once you have the proper template once you test it uh, maybe you, know, you can you know make it as a 
uh, available for your company so that's how it's going to work and if you see here it is marked to Chris uh, the user who whose device is non-compliant and also it marked to hide IT help desk group so there are four members that, who will receive this email saying that hey this device is not compliant so that they can do even quick follow-up so that's how it's gonna work how uh, the short lecture from the end user point of view might be useful for you let's also review what we have learned so far uh, we did try to understand about the company uh, policy or the baseline uh, policy for complaint specific with the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and also we try to configure automated email responses for the devices and a new navigation uh, which is available within the Microsoft Intune which we also learn as part of this uh, configuration like Endpoint Manager Security uh, within this endpoint security you also have the complaints policies so this is where uh, you can also create a policy i hope this entire lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this please do subscribe and like and comment share with an intune microsoft community that really helps me and others thanks a lot